In this video, we're going to be using straight gold shave, Santa's chestnut, and the Boker Edelweiss straight razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf, and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back, and we're going to have a good one today because we're using Straight Gold Shave Santa's Chestnuts. And I got this one from Straight Gold Shave. Um, normally it's $25 for five ounces or $5 an ounce on our cost chart there, which is in the pricey range, but sometimes it's on sale. I've seen it as low as 20 for $5 an ounce, and that would be a fair price. Really nice scent on this particular soap. I'll put the notes on the screen for you right there. This is based on Joe Malone Oud Bergamot, and it's a really nice scent. It's Bergamot Cedarwood Oud, really nice scent strength, maybe just a notch below medium, but very nice. It's a very, very good scent. I like it uh, a lot. This is, this is, excuse me, a tallow base soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. And I like the straight gold shade base. It's quite uh, good indeed. And so we're looking forward to using Santa's chestnuts from uh, straight gold shade today. It's about a little under three weeks to Christmas, isn't it? So I hope you're feeling the Christmas spirit. The razor for today is the Boker Edelweiss razor. And this razor can be found you know, anywhere from 140 to sometimes I see it 200 bucks. So shop around if you're looking for a Boker uh, Edelweiss. It is a very nice straight razor and we look forward to using it today. We're also going to announce right now the winner of the Big Dude Barbus giveaway from the other day. And that was, I'll put it on the screen right there, Drunken711, who I believe his name is Steve. So congrats, Steve. Send me your address to cdb at imcdb.com and I'll get that out to you. And for the rest of you, we have more giveaways uh, coming. And thanks to those of you who joined us on Instagram on Real Talk Friday night. We gave away eight um, items there, some gift cards, and just had a great time. Thank you all for, for coming. That was a lot of fun. It's always nice to give this time of year, and I hope you'll be inspired to give as well. Okay, let's get into the shave today. Let's show you a ladder shot because I forgot to do that. Nice and creamy. Strike Gold has a very nice soap, and this one smells great. So... No problems whatsoever lathering it. Ease of use, very good. I like that. And this one was on the firm side, which I like as well. That's just personal preference, though. No big deal. And we have some creamy goodness here, which is usually what we have every day. Because <laughs> we try to work that lather and get the best out of each, you know, individual lather. Um, but pretty much, I could do the same thing with most. I'd say 98% of the soaps out there, I just do the same thing every day, and they come along very, very well. I am careful about how I add water. I'll just, based on the way the lather looks, I'll add a little more water or, you know, uh, lather a little more before I add water. It just depends. So every soap is different, but I will say the way I lather, and I always link those, there's links below always, folks that have lather tutorials there if you're interested. Um, I pretty much do it the same way all the time, and I enjoy doing it that way. That's why I do it that way. It works really well. But you add lather when you need to. When it sort of gets pasty or you see it losing the sheen, add a little more water, work it in. That's the way I like to do it. And it just works well. So I found a method that really works well for me. And uh, I pretty much repeat it all the time. All right, that's nice. We don't need to, to spread this on all day. It smells great. I love the scent on this. So it's very nice. And I know so, some people don't like um, scents... Um, that are so this particular soap has a christmas label but the scent's not necessarily christmasy and some people don't like that but i'm going to tell you i don't care whatsoever i just like a good scent in a shaving soap and if it's got a christmas label on it and it doesn't smell like an evergreen tree or, or something christmasy i don't mind um, as long as i like the scent that is the key all right let's get down to business today once i dry my hands with the old boker edelweiss and I bought this from a uh, vendor somewhere and I honed it um, myself. And so let's see. Let's see how it goes today. That feels very nice. Well, hope not to open that little uh, bump I have on my face on that side. But no guarantees. No guarantees. You can never make any guarantees with a 
straight razor when you're going over a bumper, even a DE for that matter, but we'll hope not to open that up. But you know, you just got to press on regardless. Just be careful folks. I find that when you're putting the razor to the face, that is when you're most likely to cut yourself, or at least that's the case for me, maybe not you. But I tell you what, the edge on this is very nice. So no problems at all. And it's a good looking razor too. This is one of my favorite razors. I believe it's five eighths, if I'm not mistaken. And that's, that's really all I need. I don't really need a huge honking uh, large razor. Some people prefer that. Um, I actually don't. I just prefer a, you know, five eighths to six eighths is plenty good enough for me. Does the job and does everything I need it to do. Very nice. No problems at all there. Good slickness on the soap. What you would expect, uh, Strike Gold makes a good soap. And it smells great. I tell you, this aromatherapy that you get every morning, it just makes my day. And it's why I enjoy doing this so much. I know some people, uh, I've heard people complain sometimes, oh, he makes too many videos, blah, blah, blah. Uh, just watch the ones you want to watch or don't watch. But I tell you what, I enjoy doing it. And so that's why I'm here doing it every single day. And I realize you can't catch them all, but I appreciate the ones you can, uh, that you do catch. So thank you for watching. But I put these videos out here and they'll, they'll be out here always. So maybe if you don't catch one, you come back and catch it when time permits, uh, or just watch the ones you like, you know, but, uh, I encourage you to check them out because we're always trying to highlight product and talk about traditional shaving because it's just what we enjoy to do and it makes me happy to do it so let me ask you folks uh, if you celebrate Christmas how's your Christmas shopping coming along I'm pretty much finished I was finished um, quite a while ago because I've been traveling so much I knew I wouldn't have a lot of time so I got started early how is your Christmas shopping going I hope it's going well I'm thankful for gift cards <laughs> because, you know, I know some people think that's impersonal, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. And I've been really, um, happy to be giving some things away, you know, on the real talk show and here on the channel, there'll be some more giveaways coming on the channel soon. So stay tuned for that. And I want to mention something because I always drop the winners randomly in a video. Most of the time, I do it, I, I announce the winners on a weekend, so <laughs> keep that in mind. I'm not saying I'm going to do it all the time, but the vast majority of time that I've announced winners, it's usually on a weekend video, so there you have it. And a lot of times it's in a straight razor video, so if you've been wondering about that, then maybe, you know, watch the straight razor shaving videos, which there's only one a week usually, because um, I tell you what, last year I just, uh, or this year, 2021, it just rekindled my love for DEs. In 2020, I did about half the year with straight razor shaves, just wanted to learn how, and it was a lot of fun. But my true love <laughs> is uh, DE and SE razors. I just love that sort of a very easy, um, laid back, you know, shaving. And with straight razors, I find I have to pay a little more attention. I gotta be on my toes. And with these, I can pretty much coast and just, <laughs> you know, talk and, and shave without a lot of trouble. Again, drying off my hands, because you do want to have uh, dry hands. One of the things about straight razors is, you know, you got to use water to, to shave. But with straight razors, you don't want water up here in the pins and stuff. So it's always a battle to keep your hands as dry as possible and so on and so forth. So here we go. Pass number two. And with straight razors, we find... We really only need to do two passes generally. So I'll do the down, the down pass, and then we'll do with this up pass, and that's usually about it. That usually is enough to have a pretty doggone good shave. And one of the things I want to remind people of, the other day I had a gentleman contact me and he was saying he had uh, trouble on his uh, jawline here. Keep in mind, you can pull that skin down a little bit or pull it up and shave it, and, and that's one way to work around the jawline. So you're actually not shaving over it. You pull the skin down or pull it up, either way, and you can shave it and then let it fall back into place, and you've gotten that area without struggling. 
because some folks jawline are more pronounced than others. And the other thing I want to remind you of is um, stretch with purpose, meaning stretch in the areas where you're shaving. And uh, honestly, I'm not the best at that. So sometimes I'll stretch and it creates hollows on my face. I still get a perfectly fine shave, but if you watch what you're doing, sometimes when you pull down like that, see how the, see if I pull down there, it creates a hollow right there. The razor's not in contact with the skin as well. I'll still get that area, but uh, stretch with purpose. Also try not to overstretch. That can be an issue as well. So stretch enough to make the skin taut and let the razor be in contact with your skin. But don't overstretch because you can, in fact, overstretch. So be careful with that. Um, Maddie Lin Linholm was a guy who uh, really helped me. He would take some of my videos and he said, here you created a hollow, here you did this, and he was just offering great tips and advice. And I still do it anyway, because here's the thing, folks. When you first start um, straight razor shaving, you'll develop habits. So try to do it right, um, or at least, I'm not gonna say there's a right or wrong way to do it, but try to do it in the best way possible from the beginning. If you plan to use two hands, use two hands from the beginning, meaning your your left and right hand, because whatever habits you develop will will follow. You know, so um, if you develop good habits early on, you know you'll be doing well, and those habits will stick with you. And if you develop poor habits, they'll also stick with you, and they are hard to break. So just keep that in mind. Very nice. What I like about straight razors is you, you hear that feedback when you're cutting. And it's a very pleasant sound, or at least it is to me. I gotta say, the soap is nice. I'm loving the scent. Fantastic. And you see how I just slow down a little bit when I'm using straight razors. And I'm focusing more. I'm still talking, but I'm focusing a little more. Just to make sure that everything is good. And just be careful, for me, in terms of cuts or nicks, for me, the, the most dangerous time was always when putting the razor to the face. Either coming in at too steep an angle or coming in with too much force. You know, just be easy when you put the razor to your face and then work it into motion as you go. And it'll be just fine. But be careful about that angle when you're coming in because if you come in at too steep an angle and you touch your face, it'll leave what we call a memory line. There'll be a, a line literally there. And believe me, I've done enough to know early on, I used to do it all the time. So you have to use some care, but you can do this, trust me. If I can use a straight razor, you can too. All right, that was two excellent passes. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no sting there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, scrapers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Very nice shave. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel with cucumber and uh, aloe. Really nice shave today with Strike Gold Shave, Santa's chestnuts nice scent nice quality thumbs up i enjoyed that a lot also enjoyed the boker edelweiss straight razor just remember shop around for this one if you're looking for it because it can be rather expensive or a little less i think i got this one for around 140 ish dollars but i see it oftentimes a lot more so shop around and get the best price if you're interested in a boker edelweiss razor it is a good straight razor and i did enjoy it the brush for today i forgot to mention what it was and it is the PAA Switchback 400 and it has an AP Shave Co Sinbad knot which I enjoyed a lot. We used our HCNC bowl and we're going to close it out today with Straight Gold Shave Grant and this is I believe if memory serves a combination of uh, Creed, Aventus and Baccarat Rouge. It's a very nice scent and we're going to apply this and just be having a great day today. Smelling great. Trying to lift people's spirits and I hope that you all will try to do that as well. Remember if you see someone struggling, if you see someone be mean and nasty, try to lift them up first. But if we can't lift them up, we lift them out because there's no room for venom and toxic folks in this hobby. So let's do our best to be uplifting. I'm certainly trying to do my part and I hope you will try to do your part as well. And you do every day when you comment below. So thank you for uplifting me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, sure shave, do it your way, as long as you're being positive. God bless.